Hi everyone, my name's Frankie and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 31 and it's January 31st, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 2017 action film Power Rangers. Now in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one movie that I've never seen before and then take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of me. I do this because I have no idea of what the plot of the film I'll be watching is about. So I need to draw some type of conclusion based solely on the movie poster itself. And what we have here is the Power Rangers movie poster from 2017. A movie poster that's basically showing all the type of Zords that the Power Rangers have and the Power Rangers themselves. Pretty, uh, you know, okay. Again, it's a Power Rangers movie. I was a big fan of the show when I was a kid, so, uh, looking forward to this. I don't know what the storyline's about. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same as when I was a kid, but, uh, I can't wait to check it out and see what it has to offer. Now, after saying and analyzing all about the movie post side of me, I then go ahead and watch the movie itself. But before I do that, I want you, the viewer, to understand that after I finish watching the movie, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the movie without spoiling any parts of the film for you or giving away a lot of the plot of the film. I do this because I want you to know a little bit about the film and take part in a movie a day challenge. This way, you get to follow along as I do and enjoy each movie as I do as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and watch the 2017 action film Power Rangers and then I'm going to be right back to tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 2017 action film Power Rangers and I want you the viewer to know that not only did I love this movie, I thought this movie was incredibly amazing from start to finish. As though that word sounds ridiculous to say incredibly amazing, it really defines Power Rangers. The movie has unbelievable graphics. The visualizations created in this film make you go, wow, like, how do they pull that off? And, and not only that, the storyline. As a fan of the original series, I love this film with its storyline. It made me feel like that whoever wrote this, this movie knew what he or she was doing. And, and not only did they know what they were doing, but they were able to make me get on the edge of my seat as I would, and really be a part of the film, hoping that each character succeeded throughout. And in saying that, let me tell you a little bit about the film without giving it anything major away. So, I'm going to give you just a little bit, and not spoil anything for you. Basically, the movie's about five teenagers. Jason Scott, who is basically the leader, the Red Ranger. Kimberly, the Pink Ranger. The Yellow Ranger's name is Trini. The Black is Zack. And the blue one is Billy. Now each one of these five teenagers basically find these coins. I'm not going to tell you how they find these coins or what gets them involved to meet each other. That is your responsibility to watch Power Rangers, the 2017 action film, and really enjoy this film. But they find these coins and that leads them to an area where a ship is. I'm not going to tell you what kind of ship, but it leads them to a ship. And then they meet this person who was an original Red Ranger named Zordon. He informs them about Rita Repulsa, who was a former ranger who turned their back, who turned her back on the rangers. Now, in saying that, you need to watch this film. I could go on and on about this movie. I really can, but I don't want to spoil anything for you because you really need to watch this movie. Not only would I tell someone to watch this movie, I would watch this film literally over and over again. And I'm not, I'm not trying to just like, you know, get by with just making a short video. I'm being honest here. I will highly recommend Power Rangers because I really enjoyed it. And I would watch this movie again and again. And I'd probably get annoying after a while, but I really enjoyed this film. In saying that, today is day 31 of the January A Movie A Day Challenge. It is the last day of the action genre. Tomorrow is February 1st, and it's day number 32. February brings the romance genre to us. Yes, Valentine's Day is next month, so it's all romance from here. <laughs> and saying that, tomorrow I will be watching the 1998 drama, comedy, 
romantic movie, You've Got Mail, with Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Now, as regards to this movie, 2017 Power Rangers movie, I really enjoyed this film. And I really hope they make a sequel. I really want them to. If you liked today's video, please give that button the thumbs up right there. Give it a thumbs up. Please do. And also, comment below. Maybe you felt different about Power Rangers. Maybe you just specifically liked the original series. Maybe it felt like this film didn't live up to its hype. Or maybe you just didn't like the film at all. Then again, maybe you did. Whatever, just down below, comment. Tell me how you feel. Write to me. Tell me what you say. That's what I got X. And also, please, subscribe to a Movie A Day Challenge. My name is Frankie. I will miss the action genre month of January, but I look forward to February's romantic dramas and comedies. I will see you tomorrow for day number 32 and the 1998 film, You've Got Mail. I will see you later.